In this Scanner Master video, we're going to show you how to make a favorites list using the free Sentinel software. There's actually two versions of the software. One for the Uniden Bearcat BCD 436HP and 536HP scanners and the other one for the Uniden Home Patrol 1 and 2. The software looks similar for both of those uh, types of scanners. First thing we need to do is update the database. We're going to go up to update and then update master HPDB. Now the database is updated and just hit OK. You can see the current database version is right down here in the bottom left corner. Uh, the database updates are available each and every Monday, usually right around the afternoon. Today we're going to make a favorites list that has a trunking system and some conventional frequencies. The first thing we need to do is to do some research on radioreference.com. In order to get to the database, you're going to click the database button and then frequency database. It's going to bring you right to this page. We will then click on Massachusetts. We're going to import in Worcester County's city of Worcester. So we're going to click on Worcester County and then we're going to scroll down and look for the city of Worcester. Notice that the public safety agencies have migrated over to this P25 phase 2 system, Commonwealth of Massachusetts. What we're going to do is we're going to click here and then we're going to scroll down to where uh, Worcester County's talk groups are is listed right here in the database. We're going to need to import those. Now back to the software, we're going to open the root tree for United States, and then we're going to go to Massachusetts. Click there. And then what we'll do is we'll go to Worcester County. Worcester County, we're going to see nationwide, statewide, and county systems. Uh, that system is a statewide system, so we're going to open up that root tree and we can see Commonwealth of Massachusetts here. On this right hand side of the screen we're going to look for the talk groups for Worcester Fire and Police. We'll click on Worcester Fire, we'll hit the shift button and then select Worcester Police. Once this is done we will right click Append Favorites List. We're going to create a new favorites list we're going to name this Worcester County. And then we will hit OK. Now we also wanted to import in Westboro. So we're going to take a look at Radio Reference again. Now back on RadioReference.com, we're going to hit the Go Back button. And we're going to look for Westboro. As we can see here, Westboro has two conventional frequencies, one for the police and one for the fire. Now back in the software, we're going to close some of these branches of the root tree. And we're going to click on County Systems. And then we'll see Worcester here. And then we're going to look for Westboro. Here we see Westboro, so we're going to select the police and fire, append to favorites list, and hit OK here. Now we've created a favorites list, which is at the bottom of our root tree, which shows the Commonwealth trunk system, it shows Worcester police and fire, and then it shows the conventional frequencies for Westboro. What we need to do is go up to the Edit tab and then Edit Profile. Now we want to make sure that both of these boxes here are unchecked. In order to have the scanner scan it, as soon as the scanner boots up this Worcester County Favorites list, we need to click on this Favorites list. We want to select Monitor On and Download On. Once this is done, you can hit the X. Now we are ready to update the database inside of your scanner and add this favorites list to your scanner as well. 
So what we'll do is we'll take the programming cable, plug it into the scanner, then press the power button. Once the scanner boots up, select mass storage. And then you want to go up to the scanner tab, right to scanner. And as we see here, we have the 436 HP connected up to the computer. We will check off force write full database. And then we will hit OK. You can click OK. And now the database inside of your scanner is up to date. And we've added that favorites list to your scanner. Make sure you subscribe to Scanner Master on YouTube and follow Scanner Master on all of our social media platforms. Visit us online at ScannerMaster.com.